Hey everybody, it is Matthew of Mr. Domestic. This is what would be the final step in the fundamentals of fabric weaving. The scary and dreaded removal of the weave from the foam board. Now, before we get into the content, make sure to click that subscribe button and get ready to have some fun. This video is going to show you how to do the scariest step in all of fabric weaving. I freaked out the first couple times that I had to do this, and that is removing it from the board. As is from the other videos, don't try and remove it. This is where you're going to learn. The things you're going to need, I like washi tape that has a heavy tack or masking tape, and then a steam iron. That's all you need so far before you take it over to your sewing machine. So remember, we put the interfacing with the sticky side up, and that's gonna capture it. So with my steam iron, I have it on a medium heat, high steam, you don't want it to be too hot because it would warp the board and you want to be able to reuse this board over and over. Essentially what you are doing here is just giving it enough heat and enough steam to where it's going to capture most of that weave on top. It's essentially fusing it. It's not, it's not an awesome fuse because you didn't get it from underneath. But that's where this washi tape comes in. Let me find the end of it. And I just use this or masking tape to tape the perimeter of the square where you wove, right here, see? So let's start at the top here, make sure that it's there. And the heat from the steam iron that you just did, even if it's not super tacky washi tape, will give it that, that extra bonding goodness to make sure that the tape stays in place. And here is this one, and then, one more. Ta-da! Honestly, I've done either of these to secure my weave by themselves and they've worked fine. But putting them both together, I guarantee you, you will have no trouble. And now I'm gonna do this in real time so that you can see it and know that I haven't done anything extra. And I promise, I promise, I promise, I didn't iron it before I started the video. I'm just removing all of these pins now. And I will show you how confident I am because honestly, if this doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to redo the whole video. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> so, I've removed all of the pins and ta-da, I am shaking the weave, shaking the weave, shaking the weave. Yay, so it is off of there. And one more thing before you take this over to your, your sewing machine to stitch along this stitch line is Flip it over to where the weave is on the bottom, put it on an ironing surface, and then turn your iron up to high heat, high steam, to fuse it from the under the other side. And this will really get that interfacing onto the weave so it's not going anywhere. And now once you do that, like I'll even move it around, once you do that, then take it over to the sewing machine and I'll show you that right now. Now I've brought the secured weave over to my sewing machine and I'm gonna sew on this stitch line. You can either sew right directly onto the stitch line or inside of the stitch line since this is a square as opposed to something I'm making for apparel. I'm gonna stitch right on this, this stitch line since seam allowance isn't as important. And then I'm gonna fast forward this. You don't have to watch me stitch. So now that you have sewn the stitch line, you can either sew right on the line or right inside of the line and then it'll be covered by the seam allowance. Then you need to remove the tape and you pretty much missed the tape with where the stitch line was, but even if you didn't, it perforated the tape. And if there is any tape left on, it's gonna be inside the seam allowance, so it's not really a big deal. And then once all of the tape is off, I'm gonna leave that one there for the video. Then just cut right outside the stitch line with a rotary cutter. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do a half inch since I don't really know what I'm doing with this one. <laughs> just cut it off and then toss it. And then once you have cut all of this out and have your completed weave, then it's yours to do with what you want to. I think that this one would make either like a really cute small pillow or now that I'm seeing it, oh, it would be a great inset of a bag at this size, this 10 inch square size. Like imagine that, like this and then put this inset and some denim, make a nice little tote for Helena. So this is now your completed 
basket weave. Thanks for watching my video. You can subscribe on the right, just click on my face, and watch some of my other videos on the left.